everyone, I'm Krista, teacher of crystal healing classes as well as holistic healer. And welcome to my video talking about which crystals and gemstones to not combine with moldavite. So here's a piece of moldavite that I have. It's very powerful in its healing energies. If you would like to know more about the healing benefits of moldavite, I have another video on that one. So I will leave the link to that video in the description below. You can check that out. So instead, I would like to focus on which crystals and gemstones to not combine with moldavite and why. Okay, so I'm going to talk about these in batches. So the first batch of crystals and gemstones that I suggest not to combine with moldavite, the first one being clear quartz. So this combination is really intense. Also combining moldavite with apophyllite gemstone. So here's a piece of apophyllite. Okay, so you can see it like that. Also with Herkimer diamond, Ooh, Herkimer diamond. Okay, so here's a piece of Herkimer diamond. This combination is super powerful. Okay, and selenite. So selenite, this one satin sparse selenite. Again, this is a really strong combination. And sugilite. Okay, so here's a necklace of sugilite that I have. This one in combination with moldavite, again, very powerful. So these crystals and gemstones, what happens when you combine it with moldavite is that it can really activate the upper chakras and the psychic senses and the psychic centers. So third eye chakra, also the crown chakra, it can open up the minor chakras of the eyes, the ears as well, boosting clairvoyance, clairaudience, okay, psychic vision. And this can be too intense for some people when the psychic centers all of a sudden, boom, get opened up too fast, too quickly then there can be a lot of psychic information coming in visions clear audience clairvoyance and that can be over stimulating and overwhelming to be bombarded with psychic information like that so it can be too intense for some people so those ones can really activate that in a really big intense way so i would you know caution against combining moldavite with those ones also with those stones and crystals i just showed you and also combining it with red jasper so this is red jasper and combining it with this one here is red calcite okay so these two red stones and red stones in general, plus all of the other ones I just mentioned, can also create a really big burst of energy and amplifying the moldavite. So all of a sudden you get a big surge of energy really quick, really fast, just like a lightning bolt. You get kind of like a jolt of big energy there. And then all of a sudden, bang, energy crash. And then your energy crashes where you feel exhausted, worn out. This can also create overwhelming energy in the nervous system where your nervous system gets overwhelmed with that big jolt of energy. This can create you to have some symptoms of feeling really wired and tired at the same time. So you go to relax or try to sleep and you're so exhausted and all of a sudden you can't sleep or relax because you feel jittery in your nervous system, okay? Kind of like that. Also, when we have this energy affecting the nervous system in that way, it can create exhaustion and depletion, which can last over days or for some people even weeks. So that's a long time. Also, when you get that big jolt of energy, that can cause you to feel spacey, ungrounded, sensitive in your nervous system as well. You might become more emotionally sensitive as well. When you get that big jolt of energy, you might feel more grumpy, moody and irritable. So you might have some mood swings associated with that. And again, that can last for days or weeks, depending. Also, when you combine those stones with moldavite, then this can also create a deep cleansing effect where the chakras are being cleansed of toxic energies, where the aura is being cleansed of toxic energies, and even any toxicity that your body might be holding on to, stress states, negative negative emotions, those types of toxic energies, then working with moldavite with all of those other stones I described can create a really 
purgative effect like the toxins want to purge the stress states want to purge the negative emotions want to be purged from your system and quickly so that can lead to again some undesirable symptoms such as headaches feeling spacey feeling ungrounded nausea waves of nausea coming up feeling dizzy like you have vertigo okay that can be as a result of combining these stones again you can also find that you feel irritable angry and moody so you might have some dramatic mood swings and again that can be very undesirable for you as well also those stones because they are high energy stones all of those ones i just showed that uh you know that can infuse powerful energy into the chakras into the meridians of the body which are the energy pathways of the body and it gets a big jolt of energy there too which can be too intense for some people which can make it feel like you have blown energy circuits in your body just like you blow a fuse in your house okay if you turn on all of the lights and the appliances and you blow a fuse in your house well, we have those energy systems, our chakras, our meridians, we have energy fuses in, in our body as well that can also become blown. <laughs> so again, you can feel tired, dizzy, spacey, exhausted, and feel really depleted and feel a lot of depletion in your nervous system and having also a more sensitive nervous system, more sensitive emotions as well. Now, there's two other stones that I would not suggest combining with Moldavite. One is rainbow moonstone. So I have a little piece of rainbow moonstone here and white moonstone, this one here. Okay, so again, not a very good combination to combine with Moldavite. These types of moonstones, rainbow moonstone, white moonstone, can create too much emotional energy. And for some people, they can get emotionally sensitive so all of a sudden crying for no reason going from crying to all of a sudden irritable all of a sudden to feeling anxious okay and having big emotions dramatic emotions like an emotional roller coaster so if you don't want to be on that type of emo emotional roller coaster please do not combine moldavite with those types of moonstones okay so now i want to just say one thing about these combinations for a lot of us combining these stones with moldavite is too intense so the red stones making it too energizing the moonstones those two types of moonstones making it too emotionally sensitive for some people the first ones that i showed you with the upper chakras it can be too energizing and also opening up the psychic centers too quickly too fast creating all of those overwhelming symptoms now having said that for some people they can combine moldavite with these stones and crystals i've talked about if you've done a lot of work with crystals if you've done a lot of your own personal work if you've done a lot of cleansing work then you might be able to handle it so even for myself you know i do work with lots of crystals and gemstones even in this room that i'm in i have hundreds if not thousands of crystals and gemstones in this room i have some behind me here some beside me here even in these shelves and boxes i have lots i can handle quite a bit of crystal energy i do wear lots of crystals and gemstones usually every day however there are times where i cannot work with moldavite and these crystals and gemstones that i'm talking about here there's times where i just can't do it because it is too much even for me okay there are times where i can work with it but i work with it in short periods of time and sparingly so i'm not going to work with moldavite and let's say combine it with the herkimer diamond and work for this this combination for days or weeks or months i might work with it maybe for like an hour if i'm doing maybe some personal healing work and then that's it and then i put it away so small doses can be uh useful but again some people can handle it some people it's too much for them so really go with what is best for you okay so i would like to hear from all of you do you have moldavite in your crystal collection have you tried to combine moldavite with some of these crystals and gemstones that i've mentioned here maybe you've tried that in the past if so what effect did that have on you were you able to work with it or was the energy too intense for you okay i would like to hear from you so please leave your comments in the comment section below so i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you would like to go deeper into crystal healing i do offer live and interactive online 
crystal classes. You can check out my class schedule on my website, learncrystalhealing.com. Or if you would like to book a private healing session with me, I do those online on Zoom, one-on-one -on -one private healing sessions. You can book a private session with me on my other website, kristalin.ca. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Lots of love and light and blessings to you and namaste.